Okay. So Adele has separated from her husband of seven years. And I tried to figure out why, but that just wasn't happening. So let's do a reading and see. What happened? Because they lived a quiet life. They weren't really, you know, a public couple like that. Let's see what we can get. Seven of Shields. There was this, you have been married seven years, but there was a period of waiting. I think what this is telling me is there was something in the beginning that was either overlooked or that was previously planted and it's come back now. It's kind of like you overlook that thing about them that ignore that annoys you in the beginning because you like them but eventually it gets on your nerves to the point to where you want to strangle them so it's an underlining issue king of swords strength I don't know who the King of Swords is. I didn't look up his birthday. But there's another man here, or not another man, but a man here. So let's see. Knight of Wands. Hmm. I wonder if that's just like the influence. Because there's another man. There is another man. I said I didn't. I said I corrected myself at first, but no, there's another man. Um, not infidelity like other man, but an influence of another man. And not necessarily on her side or his side. I'm just saying there's an influence here. Like what I could, what I'm getting is sort of like um, not influence as this person plays a part in their relationship, but this person's effect on her plays a part in this relationship. Like because all of her songs are kind of like, um, look what you did to me, and now I'm going to write a song about it. And so some of that unresolved feeling is sort of spilling over into her current life and in the beginning it was not that big of a deal but now it's sort of becoming a problem the sun this is a feelings thing Ace of Wands, a new action. Yeah. Line of Shields. Security. Motivation. Four of Shields. Unwilling to change. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. And the Knight of Swords. It's fast energy. It's erratic energy. Erratic emotion, too. And judgment. Something from the past. Yeah, that's what I said. 
So you have the underlining issue is what I get with the seven of pentacles, something that was deep seated, something that is from the past that is now sort of you're reaping the harvest of. It involved a man. So this seems to be on her part. Um, strength is what it took, but strength is not what you gave it. You gave it more emotion than strength. There is a man who had influence over your actions. Your security, your state of mind, your well-being, the whole bit. Um, and on this card as well, there's a person in the garden who is content with what they have. And then there's another always lurking behind the dead tree. So you have the harvest here. You're secure in what you have here. But you still have the past, something behind you. With the crescent moon it's um not completely clear because it hasn't been worked out so this is your subconscious this this is uh it's always in the back of your mind the moon is a subconscious thing so it's in the back of your mind and the dead tree and the person lingering behind that doesn't really matter because you can't even see their face but there is something that you still are attached to and it is that person there is a resistant to change an unwillingness or maybe even just a lack of it's a lack of clarity like you don't and this this makes perfect sense with this the knight of swords rushing ahead or the yeah the knight of swords is rushing ahead in this erratic energy this charged mentality you know let's just move on from him i'm done crying that means i'm healed no that doesn't mean you healed that means you're just done crying because it's something from the past, something that was deep-seated. If it's not about an old lover, it's about an old emotion. So something that was deep-seated in either one of you, I'm going to go with her. But there was something deep-seated in you guys that has come up and will not go away. and has caused a rift. Well, there you go. Good luck.